students welcome back to our series of how formulas were derived and in this video we will see that how area of circle is pi times square of radius now if you haven't watched the previous videos of this series in which i talk about how area of rectangle is derived how area of parallelogram is derived and how area of triangle is derived then i would uh, recommend to watch the previous videos first because in the current video area of a circle this has connection with the previous video which is area of a rectangle now see so far we have learned we have understood that these shapes uh, these two dimensional shape can be constructed as part of some other shape by just doing some simple construction we saw that a parallelogram can be redrawn as a rectangle we also saw that a triangle can be drawn as a part of a parallelogram then and we also saw that a rectangle is a rectangle can be divided into small small squares now if i talk about circle now let's see how circle can be a part of any of the shapes that we have learned till now it can be a part or can it be represented as part of some 2d figure now in order to do that what i'm going to do is here i have a circle i am going to divide this circle into four equal parts so let's suppose that these four uh, parts are equal parts and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up these parts and i'm going to place them like this let's say this is first part so let's say this is the first part and i have placed it over here then this is second part i'm going to place it right next to the first part this is the second part this is third and this is fourth third part i'm going to place over here this is third and let's say that this is fourth okay so what i have done is i have divided this circle into four parts and i just rearranged these parts now i am again going to divide this circle now this time into eight parts so now let's assume that i have uh, divided this circle into eight equal parts okay so this is first part second part third part fourth part these are four parts then 5 6 7 8 now i have eight equal parts now again i pick up these parts and i again rearrange them so now if you observe that now these parts have become narrower right so let's arrange them so this is let's say first part second third and fourth so these are the first second third fourth part now i will similarly i will place the fifth sixth and seventh part like this five six seven and eight now if you observe that over here this curve part of the circle this curve part will uh this curve part will uh, slowly and gradually it will be a straight line now if i suppose i keep dividing this circle now into infinite parts now i again divide it and i divide it i keep dividing it i will keep dividing this circle now 
till the point this curve part will almost be equal to a straight line this curve part will no longer look like a curve it will look like a straight line then if i will take up all the pieces and then again if i will arrange them then you can imagine that how narrow all these parts will look like they will keep on becoming narrower and narrower and these curve parts will keep on becoming a straight line so now what we have done over here is this will slowly and slowly convert into a rectangle if you will uh, divide this circle equally into infinite parts and you will take up all the parts and arrange all the parts like this one by one you will observe that this will be almost a rectangle and if i talk about the length and width of this rectangle so this part so the complete part the complete boundary of the circle is 2 pi r that is the circumference and the half half of it will be pi r so this complete length from here to here this is pi r so and that is nothing but this length and this length as well is pi r and that is nothing but this length so this means that length of the rectangle is pi r what about width width is this length and this length is nothing but the radius of the circle okay so and we learned in the previous video that area of a rectangle is length times width if i consider this rectangle so and if if i find out area of this rectangle then that will be again nothing but length times width what is the length of this rectangle pi r what is the width of this rectangle r so that's how we get pi r square so this is the derivation for area of a circle and but now the question comes that how the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r i use this formula here that this complete boundary which is also called circumference is 2 pi r and so that is why half of it will be pi r but how the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r so this we will learn in the next part of the series and till then take care and i hope you like this video so bye bye thank you